Hi, this is Rad from MR Sports Cars. Here I've got a model year 2013 Guards Red 991 Series Carrera 4S. It was actually registered 23rd December 2012, but it is a, a 2013 model year as designated on its VIN. Fantastic options list on this one. Now, being a 4S 991, it has this rear reflector which is also lit up. I've actually got the side lights on so it's lit up. It's an LED strip. So this was the first series that introduced that reflector that actually lights up. It's not just a reflector on the 4S. And also with this being the 4S it has the 4.4 centimeter wider body. So you can see all of this bit's a little bit wider. It's it's as I said 4.4 centimeters wider than a standard 991 Carrera or Carrera S. All the all-wheel drive ones have that wider body at the rear, which line up with, with, with the mirrors. Just trying to make it easier. I normally shoot with my GoPro, but unfortunately the battery's flat, so I'm having to make do with my um, full frame SLR. So it's a little bit shakier, unfortunately. So this car has a huge options list. Has the 20-inch um, Carrera S wheels, which are in standard metallic silver. There we go. Which look great. That's a lovely 4S. Grip there. The Guards Red really suits pretty much any generation of 911 in my opinion now. Um, just show you the interior. So it's full black leather, extended leather, so it's leather on here, leather here, leather on the dashboard, um, and obviously leather on the seats, including the rear seats. So there we go. There's ISO fixed points on both sides there. It has the PDK gearbox, so the seven speed semi-automatic, which can be run in full auto, full manual, or, the, or a combination of the two. And then it has all of all of these buttons, Sport, Sport Plus, PASM, the spoiler up and down, start, stop, and the trash control, you can switch that on and off. It also has the heated seats, so that one there, which is a three-stage system, you just press it, depending on how hot you want the seat, and it has the full climate control which is dual zone so you can have a different temperature for different uh, for each side sat nav it also has the jukebox which is also a I think it's 10 gigabyte might be 10 yeah 10 gigabyte mp3 storage so you can store all your music you load it on with a USB stick in in there just see if I can actually show you that it's quite dark in there but there's a USB USB port in there this car was spec with Sport Chrono Package Plus, which means it actually accelerates faster to 60, 3.9 seconds versus around 4.2, 4.3. Um, also, as well as PASM, it's, it's spec with um, PDCC, which is Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, which has hydraulic, I guess you'd call them lifters in each corner that stiffen the chassis um, corners independently as you go around corners to make it corner flatter and uh, increases the dynamic capabilities of this car. With it being a um, Sport Chrono package car, it also has PADM, which is Porsche Active Drivetrain Mount. So the, the two mounts that hold the gearbox, the PDK ZF box to the, to the chassis, are essentially stiffen and soften in, in line with what mode you have it in whether you have it in Comfort, Sport or Sport Plus. And also it, it sort of adapts to how choppy it detects the road is as well. So it gives you more feeling of the gear changes through the chassis, if required. Now it's covered 42, 368 miles. This is a zero previous owner car. So one owner has had this since December 2012. They took delivery of it and haven't sold it up until now, 2021. 
Um, it's always been serviced at the same dealership, which is OPC uh, Solihull. So it's Port Centre Solihull Service History, and it's just been serviced as well. So I'll just show you. So this is when all the services are due. So next major is due 2024, uh, November 2024. The next interim is November 2022. Hopefully that is going to focus. Yeah. And then um, I'll just show you, this car's also spec with uh, tyre pressure monitoring. So let's see if the oil measurement works. No, it's not warm enough yet. Um, so you can have different displays here. You can also change what you, what you actually show on that. On that screen you can have different temperatures. You could even have a compass, the GPS height, or you could have nothing if you wanted to. Um, so then you have all the different menus. So that's telling you what's on the stereo. It's got Bluetooth obviously, so it has audio streaming as well as phone connectivity for phone calls. You can have the map there and you can change um, how close it is or how far away it is. So it can sort of replicate what is in there, over there. Tire pressure monitoring, so you have live display of what the pressures are at each corner. And then it also, because it's a four-wheel drive, it will tell you how much torque is being directed to the front on the fly. Um, let me show you some others. Chrono, so when you start the stopwatch, it will start ticking there and there. And then when you stop using Chrono, it reverts back to being a clock. So there we go, it's reset back to being a clock now. You have G-forces as well, and then you can also see max G-forces, so there we go. So yeah, I've, I've reset that quite recently, which is why they're very low. So there you have it. Also, um, this being a 911, it has the extra dial, so it has the coolant temperature there, it has the actual fuel gauge there. The Caymans and Boxers don't have that, they just have the three dials. And then on this side it has um, oil temperature, Yep, and oil pressure. So as I said, 42368 miles. Steering wheel wise, it's it's specced with the multifunction steering wheel. So that has the PDK shifters, but also all of the controls for the PCM um, display in the in the dashboard. And also you can answer and pick up calls, change the volume of the stereo, change what's on the stereo, all those bits. As a center storage there. The seats are in fantastic condition. Just show you there. Let me turn it up a bit if I can. And they're four-way electric, so they go back, forth, up, down, and forward, and, and, and this bit goes forward and back as well. 4S on there. All of that is as it should be, all original. I'll just show you that this is the uh, spoiler goes up as it should. So there it is. That's with the spoiler up. Just put it down. And then I'll show you both hatches. There's not much to see in the back here. It's just literally the fans, coolant and oil top up there. You can see the fans spinning, possibly. You have electric mirrors. This car's also been specced with um, electric folding mirrors, which have courtesy LEDs. I'll just show you them on the underside. And if you can see, there's a, an LED light panel, which basically lights up the floor. Um, fuel cap is all there, all clean. So there is the front boot. Lots of space in there. Warning triangle, all the tools are in those side sides there. Plus also you have under here original Porsche battery. You also have you have the tire um, tire inflator which works off the 12 volt system that comes out, it's got all its wires and everything tucked inside of it. You can tell this car is a 
another way you can tell it's all original. Obviously, I check, I check under all of these panels here and all along here to make sure there's no uh, welds or disturbance of all the mounting screws. But also, you've got the original, and I've, I won't show you the one at the back, but there is one at the back as well, which uh, shows you that the original factory stickers are still on all of the parts all the panels where they should be this has the bison on headlights which look great as well just it um, daytime running LEDs at the front as well um, yeah so that's it um, if you're interested in this car please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks for watching